My name is John Lance Letzinger, the host of the Break and Go Show. Today we are at a special retreat for you today. Uh, we've got a special guest called Shannon Nichols, praise kicker for the junior varsity and also sometimes the quarterback for the junior varsity. The Cotter County Indians last week, junior varsity team, won their supposedly second game of the year against the Russellville Golden Tigers 18 to nothing at CT Manley Stadium. Tonight at uh, about 7 o'clock in about another hour or so, the Cotter County Indians will battle supposedly undefeated Brooks Line at CT Manley Stadium at 7 o'clock. Shannon Williams, uh, Shannon Nichols, excuse me, Shannon Nichols' beautiful estate to see about what he's got to say about tonight's game against the Brooks Lions at CT Manley Stadium. Thank you. Now we have Shannon Nichols, place kicker for the junior varsity of the Cabot County Indians. How you doing, Shannon? It's fine, John. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, my question to you is this. Uh, I know that the uh, varsity, you know, the big boys at the Cotter County High School, uh, the past, uh, I'll say maybe the four years that Brooks and Cotter County has battled on varsity, I don't really believe that the varsity has ever beat Cotter County as far as I know. Has the junior varsity ever beat the Cotter County Indians? You know, in the past or whenever they have played them. No, they have. Okay. Uh, got a telephone call. Okay. Uh, I understand that you're a the place kicker for the Cotton County Indians. We wonder if when you go out there to kick uh, and everything, we wonder if you kick straight or do you kick uh, soccer style kicking whenever you kick for the Cotton County Indians. I uh, kick the soccer style way. Okay. We wonder if you could demonstrate. Uh, the way that you sort of feel, you know, keep the soccer way, you know, soccer style. Uh, we just wondering if you sort of keep the way the Van Tiffin keeps for the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Yes, I do. I'll be happy to demonstrate. Okay. Uh, well, see, when the holder places the ball on the tee, yes. instead of kicking like that, yes. you kick the ball with the side of your foot and you Somehow it just gets more power into it and makes the ball go far. Okay. Alright. Okay, my next question to you is, you know, it's probably a little tough, but I'm going to ask you this anyway, since you are, you know, the place kicker for the Cotter County Indians. Uh, every time that you uh, go out there and you line up to uh, place kick, we notice that Van Tippin, I'm uh, you know, using him for this, uh, you know, example, because as old saying he hardly ever misses when he goes out there on the field to he kick up. Never missed That's him. right. And we just wondered every time we notice when he kicks, he always looks at the ground and always looks at the ball. We wonder if you do the same or you just look right at the goal post when you kick it in the air. You always look at the ball because if you ever look up, you're going to mess up every time. Okay. You hit the ball right. All right. My next question to you is this. Uh, by percentage wise, Every time you kick, how many out of a game, I don't know exactly how many times you do kick, you know, a game, but uh, how many during the time have you really missed? Have you missed, have you hit a bunch of them, you know, through the uprights, or have you missed a few? Or? Well, I've only attempted one field goal, and that was last week against Russell. And uh, I couldn't against that for the week before because we went in overtime and had to go for two. We missed right. it and they beat us eight to six. But uh, last week, uh, our center and punter got his ankle hurt. First, uh, the uh, first play of the game on the kickoff, somebody stepped on and hurt his ankle. We had to get somebody else in there. Okay. And the snap was just a little slow getting back there. By the time the play kicked the gap, everybody was back there. In other words, what you're trying to say is when you kick the ball, uh, you didn't really get the ball up high enough. I to be good. In other words, what you're trying to say, mainly it was blocked. Yes, the whole team is back there. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, we just wonder how it's going to feel uh, whenever the legendary Lee Craft graduates from Cobbett County in about another, say, two more years. Uh, how's it going to feel going to, uh, taking his place as place kicker and being the first Cobbett County soccer style? Uh, place kicker at Cotter County High School. Who's wondering in your own words, how's it going to feel going, you know, taking his place? Well, I'm 
Well, I got in two years. That's a pretty good while. I have to wait to see what happens in the near future. Uh, somebody else could come along. Anything could happen. Well, uh, like I said, two years is a pretty good while. But uh, it'll be a great feeling taking legendary Lee Kraus as a place kid because I know he's real good and all. And, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to replace those big crowds. So. He's about the best I've had in a long time. Okay. Uh, I was wondering, uh, on the junior varsity, I have not, you know, seen them, but I've seen them, you know, the boss and the junior varsity is supposed to all to get on a Friday night. Okay, I was wondering, uh, who the stars on the junior varsity is coming up supposedly next year for the boss? Can you name all some stars for the junior varsity to be taking the place, uh, supposedly, of the seniors of next year's squad? That's going to be some highlights of next year's squad. Can you name some all for us, please? Well, uh... I figured the papers have to graduate from sophomores and juniors would probably be the ones taking their spot and all that. But I figured it'd be good when Sean Hart and him, they like, pretty good then. You know, they like, Sean and he's real fast and he hit hard. Take it from me. I know. Uh, I guess them two, I guess, be okay, the uh, main ones. What position on Junior Boston does those two people actually, you know, play on on Junior Boston? Well, they both play both ways offense and defense, but if he's a linebacker and a right half back, Sean was a cornerback and a left half back. In other words, the uh, guy you mentioned down on linebacker, he would, take, he would probably be taking Eddie Hampton's place, uh, supposedly, next year.
I'm John Lampert, sir, the host of Rack and Go Show. Thank you for watching. Stand by. We'll be back at the stand by. Uh, we'll be uh uh so stay by uh, for these uh, local sponsors for their uh,